Today, I will show you the ePower IC stage in action. And to do so, I will use this tiny little evaluation board. Look at the board dimensions compared to these coins. Here you can see that it is a three-phase motor inverter for a motor drive application. The ePower stage mounted on a demo board, little tiny demo board, together with a, a motor controller board connected to a motor and the motor is connected to a dynamometer bench and a torque and speed transducer and uh, in this moment we have a 44 volt dc bus uh, the phase current is 5.5 uh, uh, amps and remes and we processing 210 watt and uh, this is the uh, torque as seen by the torque transducer and temperature on the back of the PCB is around uh, 59 uh, degrees. To process more power I can put a net sink on top of the board just by mounting it on these four embedded mounting holes. And here you see how it looks like when it is assembled with a heat sink on top of it the same board but with the heat sink on top of it and then the motor and uh, in the dynamometer running 1000 rum pm and uh, the phase current is uh, roughly 9.5 amps rms and the input power is around 420 watt and the output power is 410 we almost uh, dissipating 8 point something watt in the inverter on a temperature in the back of the PCB which is 56 degrees and this is the torque with the delivering 2.6 newton meter torque with a, a power of 300 watt mechanical power to the motor. Look at the difference in size when compared to a most based power inverter. You see it? So Galliona tried Power discrete devices as well as integrated circuit can let you reach higher power density, higher than ever. 